Today we'll talk about the best editing apps for your smartphone. Whether you're creating videos for TikTok, YouTube or Instagram, I have several video applications that will surprise you with their functionality. I went over 20 mobile applications and I had to figure out a method to sort them out and to bring you the best ones. So the first criteria, to be free and the export not to have watermark. Second one, intuitive interface. As content creator, I don't want to waste any time learning a new program and to figure out where some feature is buried. For me, it was very important the program to be as close as possible as the industry standard, Premiere Pro or Final Cut. And of course, it's also very important the features the application has. It's important to be able to export in 4K, to be able to create some interesting transitions with the application, chroma key, speed ramping, color grading. That's the reason I scratch application like InShot, KineMaster, PowerDirector, Vlo, but I'll show you the best of the best now. The first application is CapCut. With it, you can create some crazy transitions that application is ideal to create videos that are 30 seconds up to 2 minutes. If you want to create videos that are longer than 2 minutes, it will break your nerves because of one thing. But first, let's dive into the example so you can see what I'm talking about. For all examples, I'm gonna use my mouse so you can see exactly what I'm clicking. When you open the application, the first thing is to come here and click New Project. Import your footage and click Add. The timeline is really simple, like Final Cut Pro. In the middle, you have all your clips. And here on the bottom, you have all the options. When you click over the clip, you select it and all the options will be applied only to the particular clip. So for us, we click first on animation. You have in, out and combo. The in means that the animation will be applied only in the beginning of the clip. The out is only at the end of the clip. The combo, it's in the beginning and at the end. So let me show you first the in. In the moment you click it, you can preview the effect and on the bottom you have a slider that controls the duration of the effect. You can create some really crazy transitions. Now the transition I'm after is in the combo. So I want the pendulum effect. I want the video to shake left and right. So you have one and two. So for that video we select one and for the next video we select two. And let me show you the result. Looks pretty decent. Now, here we have a close-up and we have a drone shot. The perfect transition for me is to zoom out from the first shot and then to zoom in on the drone shot. So we can come here again to animation and this time we'll change the pendulum to zoom. Let's see, is it zoom 1 or zoom 2? It's the zoom 2, so the next clip will be zoom 1. Perfect. The next crazy thing about that application is that it works also with photos and the effects are really cool. Mark the photo, go to style and here you get some really cool different styles you can play. My favorite one is the 3D Zoom Pro. When you click it, the application will analyze your photo and will create something cool. The second application is VN app and it's my favorite app for creating short stories. Two minutes to five minute videos is not a problem at all. For longer than five minute videos, I think there are better applications out there, for them a little bit later. That application can create also some crazy transitions, but those are the manual in-camera transitions. Let's directly jump to it so you see what I'm talking about. VN app looks extremely similar to CapCut. I would say that even 99.90% .90 the applications are the same, they're sharing the same features, just visually the things are on a different place. But the main thing why VN app is superior to CapCut for editing longer videos is because you split the video and after that delete part of the video, the timeline is not moving, it's exactly where you're editing. With CapCut, your timeline is constantly jumping backwards and forwards. Now let's check some of the best features. Mark the first video, come to speed and here you have the speed graph. When you grab a point and push it up, you speed that part of the video. So I want the first part of the video to be fast and the next one to be slow. The next option are the keyframes animation. When you click on the video, here you have keyframe. Just press it once and that creates the first point. Scroll at the end of the video and now you can just 
zoom in or zoom out the video itself and that will automatically create another keyframe animation. The keyframe points are remembering the status of the video and the program is automatically animating the states between the two points. When you play the video, you can see the speed ramp with the smooth zoom. Really cool. Now it's coming the craziest feature of VN App. Let's go to the second video, come here to filters and here you have the custom tab. That program allows you to import custom LUTs and I can cover great those videos with my custom packs. That makes my workflow that much faster. It's unbelievable. I never seen that feature in any other free program. When you choose the preset under you have the intensity slider. When it's on zero, the effect is not applied. 50% applies 50% of the LUT and 100% is the full power of the LUT. The third application is Video Leap. It has all the features of all the previous two applications but brings on top some additional functionality. As you can see the interface looks extremely similar. You have your video and on the bottom are all the features. But this application, instead of adding the effects on the video itself, it's creating a layer. And the best feature is the tone lap. Unfortunately, all the features that are marked with a crown means that they belong to the pro version and you have to pay a subscription for it. When you click it, it will create a layer on top of it. And that's so cool because you can cover grade several clips at the same time. That too works exactly like the cover grading in Lightroom. That means that you can easily tweak the cover hues and you can create the teal and orange effect. If we click on the blue, we can push the blue to make it brighter or we can make it darker. Actually making it darker looks more epic. When we click on the hue, we push it towards the green more and that will create that teal color. We can also desaturate it a little bit. Now we go to the green and we do the opposite. We switch to the hue and we push it towards the blue. You can see how the plants are changing. After that, the saturation we reduce a little bit. To compensate the reducement of the saturation, we will increase the luminosity. Check the difference. Before, after. Looks so much better. There are two reasons why I'm not using VN App for my main editing application, even though some of the features look nicer and the UX looks better. First, it doesn't support custom LUTs and that speeds up my workflow a lot. And second, a lot of the pro features that attract me to that application are paid. LumaFusion is your only choice if you want to create big videos on your mobile devices. I hate the user experience, but the program is really powerful. Once you learn it, it will be easy busy, but you'll have to dedicate one to two weeks for that. I really wish Apple released Final Cut for the iPhones and the iPads. That thing will kill the whole mobile video editing market. I hope you learned something new. See you in the next episode. Bye!